your hands together for two Leinster legends, Ethan Athewa and Richard Strauss. Lisa, may I give you that? Rickard, may I give you that? We're just going to have a chat for a little while. No, no, nothing to worry about, I promise. And actually, we'll start with Isa because Isa, I have a recollection you did this before. <laughs> Am I... It's my second one, I guess. <laughs> I so, second time around, how, how, how do you feel tonight? Um, yeah, it's a bit different. Um, gone all three, through all these emotions before. Uh, a little bit harder last time because I hadn't seen my kids for about six months and someone put a video up on the screen of them back in New Zealand. Um, so a little bit different, but uh, yeah, still hard. Yeah, I, listen, you, you're on record many times about talking about, you know, Leinster, but also this place and that this, I know it's difficult when your children weren't here, but this is home. This has become home for you. Yeah, it has. Um, you know, the good part of 10 years of, of being here in Dublin um, and it's been a great time. Uh, Pretty easy to come back here after spending a bit of 18 months in New Zealand on my sabbatical. Um, <laughs> just getting the body and mind right, but uh, yeah, it's very, very easy to come back here. Uh, Rickard, what, what has what has being here and playing for Leinster? What has this meant for you? An awful amount. So I've, when I came over, obviously as a young kid, it was weird for me to come over and be then be accepted by not only the club, by the whole province, and then eventually the country. So it's been. Kind of for me, obviously, a home for, away from home, but it's just meant people that are real, genuine people to accept you into something that they've kind of built their whole lives. For me to step in, then just to be a part of it was was huge. Mm. Um, and you know, I suppose, look, you've you've seen highs, you've seen lows. What's it like uh, around this setup at the moment? That the, the kind of feeling around the club with what has been achieved up to now and and what's about to come. Yeah, obviously, it's a good feeling. It's always easy to have a good feeling when it's going well, but it's, it's how the organisation is run and see the young boys getting pushed through and coming on. It's, it's, as an older lad, it's good to see that young kids are coming through, not only good players, but good people trying to push on and push the club forward. Mm. Easter Saturday is so special and, and, you know, there were a couple of, many images that, that jumped out, but getting the team, you go back to last year, getting the team into the huddle after the Claremont game and, and you did the same last weekend and, you know, the, the emotions, the difference in emotions in that, that shortish period of time kind of struck everybody, I'm sure. Yeah, a, a lot can happen in 12 months um, in rugby circles. Uh, you know, it was a different team, uh, different faces, um, and a lot of learnings have gone on um, in, as you say, a short amount of time. Um, you know, but we took a step, and, you know, we've got some big steps to take in the coming weeks. Uh, Rickard, I've, I've been asked to ask you, what is, maybe you can explain, what's beef biltong? And you're curing your own beef biltong. Is this a business venture? Can you tell me what this is about? Because I... It's just a snack. So Isa can tell you more about it. He's put on a couple of pounds since we... <laughs> <laughs> It's just a snack. Listen, I, the, the last thing, Rickard, I want to ask you about it is, is, is playing for Ireland. And, you know, when you, when you look back, all the great days with Leinster, but, but pulling on that green jersey, it must be something you look back with incredible, look back on with incredible fondness. Yeah, it is a usually proud moment. I was lucky enough to have my folks over the day it happened. And it's something that a time in your career I thought was never going to happen. Uh, for it to eventually happen was, was extra special. And being able to play against the country of my birth and then my cousin probably made it a bit more special. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, gentlemen, you know, there's a, a, a lot of nice, a lot of fun to be had over the course of the evening, but you, you will leave here this evening with the thanks of everybody who, who loves Leinster Rugby, and I, I really appreciate your time this evening. We wish you both all the luck in the world. Well done. Lisa Nathewa and Rickard Strauss. Gentlemen, thanks so much. That's great. Well done, boys. Thank you.